C President Cyril Ramaphosa has received raving reviews for bringing overall optimism to the image of the party. Thousands descended to East London in the Eastern Cape where the party celebrated its 106th anniversary. It certainly looks like the ANC is changing, the atmosphere electric, but the late arrival of President Jacob Zuma, a dampener, and when he was introduced, a booing. Jacob Zuma and, and, and comrade and comrade Uhuru Kenyatta, the president of Kenya. The party and the alliance are rallying behind Ramaphosa. The event was uh, quite legendary at the home of uh, legends. We're quite happy. Uh, we have done ex exceptionally well. These are the workers who are having their hope today that the ANC is in the mission of its own renewal. This is what we say to our leadership of the ANC. Our hopes are high. The South African Communist Party fully accepts the outcome of the 54th Conference of the ANC. This year, as the ANC marks 106 years, we also need to remind everybody that we are, as the SACP, the second oldest political formation in this country. We are only nine years younger than the ANC. And we come a long way. That is why, as the ANC is celebrating its 106th anniversary, we are also celebrating the 90th anniversary of the adoption of the Native Republic Thesis by the Communist International, which directed the SACP to work with progressive national movements. For the Women's League, a message well received. Is the cornerstone and the foundation of the African National Congress. But also, the president spoke about uh, the struggle for women's emancipation, fighting violence against women and uh, uh, children, and also ensuring that there is a comprehensive program to ensure that women are in all spheres of life and so as to ensure that there is equality between women and men. The president spoke about 100 years of the women's struggles and also the 100 years of Mam Sisulu. And we all know that uh, at some stage, Mam Sisulu was the bearer of the torch of the struggle in South Africa. When there wasn't anyone, she was there to guide the masses of South Africa. Among those who listened with the aim of getting something, the youth. Some of them came as far away as Johannesburg. Tell me, for you particularly as young people, which part of the message of the president resonated with you? Um, the part of the uh, message that re resonated with me is uh, the two-thirds of a minimum wage for, uh, for, for labor, uh, for AMA um, workers, and again, uh, unity whereby uh, he spoke about unity, whereby we, uh, all our branches, we need to work together, united. And for you? Uh, to me, I could say it's means of, uh, means of production where you touch about me, uh, Reserve Bank, because that one is too, is too important to us. Business is also a beat. I'm excited, and I think uh, he's a breath of fresh air, so everybody's excited, you know? So uh, I'm happy to be here. It's history in the making. This is the ANC we wanted to see and so as a young person I'm revived and I really want to help make the, the movement uh, stay in power in 2019. A warm welcome for Ramaphosa in the province of Legends 
but the real work begins as he leads the party to campaign season for 2019 and he will need all the strength and support as demonstrated here in the Eastern Cape. Ntakwana Ngatani, SABC News, East London.